Thousands of them have packed the centre of London as the British leg of this year's Tour de France ended with a rather dramatic sprint finish along the Mall. Our correspondent Annie Swiss was following the riders' progress. It was a day when Britain's passion for pedal power was once again on glorious display. After the weekend's tumultuous scenes in Yorkshire, it was Cambridge's turn. Thousands cramming the streets as the riders set out on the 96 miles to London, with plenty of eyes on Britain's defending champion Chris Froome. Through the villages and lanes they sped, and fans took every possible vantage point, one even watching from horseback, as towns like Epping in Essex welcomed the tour with open arms. It's now going to come through Epping again, so absolutely fantastic. Loved it, great atmosphere, everyone's been shouting. The whole thing was so instant. Everything that probably went through, but I loved it. When I felt the wind, it just, just blew me away. It wasn't all seamless. Despite warnings to fans, one careless camera took a hefty whack and the rain started to fall as the riders arrived in London. But from the Olympic Park, they hurtled through the city. Rush hour with a difference. A whistle-stop tour of the capital's landmarks drawing yet more vast crowds. While at the finish line on the Mall, the anticipation grew. Britain is part of the history of the Tour de France. And now British people are coming out and supporting it. And I hope it will just get bigger and bigger. Oh, people just love cycling. It's a sport that we're really good at. We're British, we're good at sitting down sports. <laughs> the Tour de France coming to rest. And the waiting was worth it. To a deafening roar, the riders entered the Mall, and the result was a thrilling finish and a second stage win for Germany's Marcel Kittel. So the end of three unforgettable days. Britain's passion for cycling is no secret, but the success and popularity of this tour has been overwhelming. The UK is the, the new power of cycling, the heart of cycling. So we'll see now there is a, all, all that's possible because you, you have champions. Certainly the images of the last three days will never be forgotten. From the millions in the hills and dales of Yorkshire to those who thronged the streets of London, never has France's biggest sporting event felt quite so British. Annie Swiss, BBC News.